Christ has broken in to the tribulation. He's broken in to the cancer. He's broken in to the marital conflict and problem. He's broken into Iraq. He's broken into American social security upheaval. He's broken into public education stresses. He's broken into my emotional conflicts. Christ, by his incarnation, has taken on flesh like ours and been tempted in every way like we are. And he died to kill it all. He put his foot on the neck of Satan and death and hell and sin. And once it was killed, he rose triumphant from the dead and became my righteousness and my hope. Now, he has made himself the glory of paradise so that he's the center of everything and I get the highest pleasures in heaven by seeing him. So, I rejoice in this unutterable and exalted glory. As 1 Peter 1, 8 says, Here we do not see him, but we believe in him. And now we do not see him, but we rejoice with unutterable and exalted joy as we receive the salvation of our soul. So we don't see him now, but one day we'll see him and our joy is flowing back to us out of the future hope of seeing Jesus. And with this joy, we endure with Jesus all the sacrifices of love.